So, about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, in real time, I accidentally pressed the stop button instead of the pause button on my camera. So I'm going to try to finish my face look. This is the rest of the video. Stay tuned or don't. I understand if you would leave me. But please don't leave me. I'm so lonely. Okay, I applied the, uh, I applied my bronzer in where my contour goes because I just find it easier to do that way. I just use a blending brush and then put it in and it's fine. All right now I'm putting my old lighter foundation under my eyes because my concealer is extremely yellow. And I just got it because it was on clearance. I know, I'm an awful person. Um, point is, I want something that doesn't totally lie about my skin tone. I want to make sure I find products that actually work for me. I'm sick of, like, conforming to whatever is available in the stores. And I hate ordering online. In fact, I've never ordered online, although I've gotten things off of line several times because I've had people order them for me. I know, it's extremely lazy, but... If I will, if I have to, sometime I will. But... Now is not that time. So, I'm just going to get back to doing what I do best, and that's shopping in stores. Now I want to know, you got a ceiling bleep bleep too. Who am I kidding? My video's not monetized. I could have just cursed that out. I have to get that set up. Okay, I'm going to use this Urban Decay setting powder set my face or under my eyes and whatnot so it doesn't have like the cracking to it I'm using this mica beauty cosmetics brush that I got as a gift so thankful I did too because I'm a cheap ho not like that I mean I'm I'm a cheap ass okay demonetized but it's not monetized so I have nothing to worry about I know not baking, what are you doing? Well, I don't have baking powder. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I have baking powder. I just don't have the powder, loose powder for actually doing the job. This is not loose powder by any means. It's compact. Yes, it is Urban Decay. Naked light. <laughs> Me in the shower. I emit so much light because I'm so pale. Okay, you know what? Um, I've, uh, I need to stop now. Alright, I applied the eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to do something I never do, and that is the eyeshadow tutorial. Because, yeah. I tried doing blue a little while ago. It ended horribly. Blue hates me. Like, I'm not even just saying, oh, the color doesn't look good on me. No. I cannot blend it. Worth a crap, apparently. And I cannot get it on my face how it's supposed to go. It hates me. Now, I'm going to get my stuff. Blurb. And blurb. Blurb. And blurb. I'm going in with this... Yeah, it's okay, it's recording. With this color right here for the base. I'll be using this color, but it's a shimmer. And you don't want to use that for... A base. I'm going to do that for the base. And I'll be right back. Alright, now that we have that applied. Oops, I didn't mean to take a picture. Um, we are going to go in with this color in the crease. And we'll be right back. Just putting that in the crease. Like so. I tend to accidentally move it up here too much when it should not be up there. Um... That's the right color. Yeah, I just want to kind of pack it in there a little bit. Then I'll blend it out when I'm ready. I hope you guys know that none of this is like at all scripted or planned ahead. I'm just like, huh, I want to do a video. So then I just pick whichever colors I want to do. Yeah, I need to get more organized in my face, in my life. Okay. 
So I do both sides at a time because I don't want to forget the, forget the colors because knowing me, I will. Um, yeah, there's that. And any mistakes I have, I'll clean up with some foundation or concealer. Um, yeah. Just going to blend this out a little bit with this clean blending brush, even though it's actually not a blending brush, but it's clean. There we go. Nice. BRB. And using that same brush that I used to uh, put the stuff in the... Yeah, I'm going to go in with this color down here into the outer corners. Just gonna pack it in there a little bit. Don't want to fall out. Just like that. Perfect. There we go. It's looking nice. And this is the brush that I used for the crease and um, for the outer corners. This is the brush I'm going to use for the lid. It's a smaller, much smaller, you can see in comparison. Um, this is the brush that I use to put the stuff all over. It's the smallest brush and this is that. But yeah. Now I'm going in with this color right here. Um, I forget the name of it. I'll get the thing and list all the names. I'll list the names as soon as I'm done. I actually use this color quite often. I really do like it a lot. If I had a more gold color in this palette, I would use it. You know what? I'm an idiot. I forgot I had the other palette. Okay, I'm actually going to go in with the other palette and uh, add some more color to this. And you just want to kind of pack on the color when you go in there. So, like, dip it in. Like, don't obviously rub too hard, but just, like, dip it in and then, like, kind of pat it across. So you can get that look to it, because otherwise it goes lighter. If you want it lighter, uh, just do it lighter. But, yeah. Now I'm going to the Mor Morphe 35F palette. And I'm going to be using um, either this color or this color. Um, probably I'm going to use this color first. And I'm just going to put that like right here, right in the middle, to make it pop. Okay, I absolutely love that. There. This is way too much makeup for a day that I'm not doing anything. Maybe I'll go on a walk. Get someone to notice how glam I am. I don't know. Anyhow, there's that. I'm going to go back into the corners with a shimmer. Um, and make that a little darker. And make it more smoky eye. And I'm going in with actually, I think, yeah, this color right here. It's not as much of a shimmer as it is more of a sparkly. Like, that's a shimmer, and that's a shimmer, and that's a shimmer, but this is, like, sparkly. This is so beautiful. I love this color, but I'm afraid to work with it, just because of how it was with the blues. Anyhow, I'm going to go in with this. I'm just kind of going into there with that. I am going to blend this all out when I'm done, so don't you worry. There's that. There's that. It's scary, I know. But I'll fix it. See? It's already fixed. Just doing that in there. Then for my under eye, I'm going to go in with... I'll use this brush. This brush right here, which is the end of a Urban Decay Cosm... Well, nope, actually it's not. It's a knockoff version brush. I could tell it's knockoff because my sister-in-law had the same palette, and we compared them, and mine did not even have the same colors or same names. Similar colors, not the same. Out of order, and they were not near as pigmented. Um, and now we're going to go in... Yeah, with this color... Well... With this color right here, under the eye, and then this color, closer to the inner eye. Alright, there we are. Now I'm going to add eyeliner, mascara, and clean up, and I'll be right back. Eyeliner. Mascara. Why? Alright, here we are. I only have 10 seconds to say this, but I use the Kylie Lip Kit color, and then I use my foundation to clean this up, and I had a lot of problem here. Elf. 
um, bad girl bang and tardist. Bye!